The NBA bubble proved hugely successful. 20 teams made it in for an eight-game warm-up. The playoffs marched on, and a champion was crowned. For most of us stuck at home due to lockdowns and working conditions, being able to watch live sports was a welcome distraction. But let's not kid ourselves. The NBA didn't recommence in the summer out of the kindness of the owners' and commissioners' hearts. Nor did the NBA come back out of the players possessing some sort of pure passion and desire to compete. No, it was about the money. A canceled season would have resulted in the loss of billions of dollars for the league as a whole. Finishing the season, even without fans, was about minimizing those losses. And these losses were projected to have a knock-on effect for the following seasons. Luckily, a CBA has been reached, and the salary cap has not been negatively affected for the upcoming season. With that being said, let's look at the 10 highest paid players for the upcoming season. Number 10. Clay Thompson Well, this is going to be a rough one to start us off. Clay missed the entirety of last season after suffering a torn ACL against the Raptors in the 2019 NBA Finals. By now, NBA fans around the world are aware of Clay's most recent injury, a torn Achilles. Clay will miss all of the upcoming season. The $35.3 million he stands to get paid from the Warriors is even worse considering last season's $32.7 million on top of that. The man just can't seem to catch a break. This is a huge blow not only to the Warriors, but to the league as a whole. Whether it's draining threes, playing lockdown defense, having 37-point quarters, or smashing Gatorade bottles. This man is almost universally beloved by NBA fans. Get well soon, Clay. Number 9. Paul George In the previous summer, the Los Angeles Clippers made a lot of noise by acquiring the talents of Kawhi Leonard, fresh off a championship with the Raptors. It took a lot to pry Kawhi from the cold grasp of crosstown rivals, the LA Lakers. It took an eye-watering trade to get Paul George from the OKC Thunder, a trade including five first-round picks and two future pick swaps. But most of you may not be aware that PG-13 earns more than Kawhi. This season, Playoff P stands to earn 35 point million, about 1.1 million more than his Clippers co-star. Hopefully, they can achieve more success in their second season together. Number 8. Blake Griffin In his prime, Blake Griffin was one of the most exciting players to watch in the entire league. He attacked the rim with violence, seldom witnessed before. Once Blake was going downhill, NBA players soon learned to stay out of his way and avoid being posterized. Thinking to retire a Clipper, Blake signed a five-year $173 million contract, only to be traded to the Pistons shortly into the season. Blake's three seasons in Detroit have not been the most memorable, plagued with injuries. Griffin has adjusted his game and become an adequate three-point shooter. In the 2018-19 season, he managed to stay healthy and even made the All-NBA third team. Detroit is hoping he can repeat that success for this upcoming season, one where they will be paying Blake to the tune of $36.6 million. Number 7. Kevin Durant Okay, so we are only four names into the top 10 list, and I see a reoccurring theme happening. Dudes are getting injuries. A lot of guys are getting paid, but not a lot of games are being played. Let's hope that this isn't the case for Kevin Durant in his upcoming season with the Brooklyn Nets. Having to sit out the entire first year of his current contract, KD will be earning $39.1 million as he tries to lead the Nets to title contention. And while many players may find it hard to come back from an Achilles tear, the word in the league is that KD is back and better than ever. If he and his bro, Kyrie, can figure out how to share the rock, they may rise to the top in the East. Number 6. LeBron James After winning his fourth title in 10 tries, you would be forgiven for thinking that LeBron would be or should be at the top of this list. The 39.2 King James is expected to earn next season is nothing to scoff at and we think he would agree that sacrificing a couple million to play in Los Angeles with AD is worth the sacrifice. Plus, it's not like the King isn't up to his elbows and endorsements. With a net worth of half a billion dollars, we're sure LeBron won't be too upset that a few players in the league earn more than him. Number 5. James Harden Oh boy, you should have expected to see the beard near the top of this list. If you didn't, you're probably one of the Harden haters pervasive in NBA fan groups. But us stat guys and analytics know what James is all about. So much so, it's looking that Harden may soon be reuniting with the world-renowned basketball nerd Daryl Morey in Philly. That is, if James isn't able to force his way to Brooklyn to join KD and Kyrie. Houston is hoping to hold on to him, or at least get a trade haul in the Anthony Davis or Paul George range. Whoever ends up getting Harden for next season can look forward to paying James $40.8 million for his services. That's about $40,000 per step back three, or $50,000 per free throw attempt. Number 4. John Wall of all the highly paid but mostly injured players, John Wall may be the king, but this is just the highest paid players. So, Wall's protected salaries put him fourth. Well, actually, John is expected to earn the same amount as James Harden, 
Maybe the Rockets should consider trading James to the Wizards. John's injury issues go back to 2012, when a non-traumatic stress injury in his left knee caused him to miss the first 33 games of the season. This was the beginning of the nagging knee problems. Between 2017 and 2019, Wall only managed to average 35 games per season before having all of last season shut down. He missed the last season due to surgery to repair a ruptured Achilles tendon. John says he is 110%, and we can only hope that he is. We look forward to his chaotic and explosive moves in transition. If Wall and Bradley Beal are both healthy for a full season, expect the Wizards to return to the playoffs. Number 3. Russell Westbrook We have now reached the first of two teammate duos in the top 10 list. Yes, this is correct. Westbrook is paid even more than James Harden. Although he can thank Oklahoma City for a contract that will pay him $41 million for the upcoming season, and Houston attained his services for the low cost of Chris Paul, two first-round draft picks, and two pick swaps. Known for his explosive and almost violent competitiveness, Westbrook and the Rockets seemed to struggle to fit together last season. Things came together once Clint Capella was sent packing to acquire Robert Covington. In the second half of the season, despite being a guard, Westbrook led the league in points and the paint. But Houston, we have a problem. Not only is James requesting a trade, but so is Russell. Not as in the man as his teammate, Westbrook could end up almost anywhere at this point. Number 2. Chris Paul As the president of the NBA Players Union, Chris has been a motivating force for the most recent collective bargaining agreement in the league, an agreement that has led to veteran players earning top dollar in the sunset of their careers. CP3 will turn 36 this season and is expected to earn $41.4 million from his new team, the Phoenix Suns. After two successful but not championship seasons in Houston, the Paul and Harden experiment had failed. Paul was shipped off to OKC. In many NBA circles, he was also written off. But last season, Chris proved the critics wrong by leading the Thunder, a team expected to be in the lottery, to the fifth seed in the West. The Thunder were merely a three-point shot away from defeating Paul's old team, the Rockets, in seven games and moving on to the second round of the Western Conference playoffs. The Suns are hoping Paul will be money well spent as he leads young hopeful stars Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton next season. Number 1. Steph Curry The next man needs no introduction. Well, that is unless you only started watching the NBA last season. Steph, yet another injury victim on this deadly list of highest paid players. Similar to John Wall, Steph's first problems in the NBA began during the 2011-2012 season, where he was only able to play 26 games due to ankle issues. In each of the two seasons before last, Curry played in only 51 and 69 games out of 82, again due to ankle injuries. Last season, Steph was expected to lead a hobbled Warriors team to the playoffs. We expected a Superman season out of Steph, as the former MVP who would have led a team without his past running mates like KD and Clay. However, the Warriors season was quickly derailed, with Steph breaking his hand after a handful of games. However, as fate would have it, we may get to see that version of Steph this upcoming season where the 32-year-old stands to earn $43 million. Clay may be out, but the Warriors have added draft pick James Wiseman and newcomer Kelly Oubre Jr. Here's hoping for an inhuman Steph Curry season. With the second pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select James Wiseman. Well, that was exhilarating. Two things we love talking about, the NBA and money. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you think should be the top 10 highest paid players for the upcoming season. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on all of our latest content. See you next time.